Hello, my fellow wizards, and welcome to another episode of Everything EDH. Today, we're going to be playing some Arch Enemy. We've done Arch Enemy in the past. I'll link the video of the first one we did down below. Today, Ian, you're going to be our Arch Enemy. If you want to learn how to play Arch Enemy, I've also had that down below. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, follow us. But before then, watch this video. Fight. My name is Nick, and today I'll be playing Chulain, Teller of Tales. This deck wants to make creatures, make lands, draw cards, rinse, repeat. Chulain things. You'll understand soon. Hey, it's Jose. I'm playing Pier and Toothy. I'm going to um, do Simic infinite combos, and I want to do counters and draw cards and Simic good stuff. Hi, I'm Alonzo again for the 15th time this time. I'm just I don't know. I'm, this is episode 11, right? Episode 11. How many times have you been Welcome back to the show. I've been here for a lot, a while, all right? But I'm playing Animar again, but this one is much more souped up than the last time, and I'm going to steamroll this shit up. <laughs> um, Ian Wright, and I'm playing Glissa, and I'm the enemy today. Um, zombies, and uh, yeah, gonna win. As always, the arch enemy gets to go first, therefore, show us what you got. Right. What does it say? When you set this scheme in motion, put a 5-5 red dragon creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Oh, goodness. And what a way to start. And it begins. Uh, Whoa, what did you cast? A guardian a cyber jar. That's your dragon. Five, that's five, a 5-5 five dragon. There we go. And that's you how you start draw. the game. Yu-Gi-Oh fans are going to be pissed right now. Yeah, right? <laughs> Get off. And I'm going to play champion of the parish, and I'm in my turn. All of us draw at the same time. <coughs> Pretty draw! Boom. Pretty neat, bro. We just play the same time, he's gonna go in order. I'm just gonna do it like this. Forest, exploration, <laughs> island. You guys go ahead. Ian, planes, now you see it, now you don't. Because fortified village. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do a forest, a mana crypt. I'm gonna tap that mana crypt. Cheating. For Arcane Signet. Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna tap the Arcane Signet for a the Ozolith. Wow. And then I'm gonna tap my one forest for a Birds of Paradise. Wow. Golf play? Yeah, great job, man. <laughs> great start. Five permanents in one turn. Yeah, but now I'm gonna die. Impressive. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. My turn? Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright. Scheme! Let's yeah, move that up the side. You can put those off to the side too if you want, whatever's easier. Oh. Light in the hunt. When you set this game in motion, create a 3 3 black horror creature token and prevent all the damage that would be dealt to creatures you control this turn. Wow. I'll give you a beast because everything's a beast. How many does he get? Three of them or one of them? Just one. It's one, three, three. three. Yeah. It's already a 3 3. Yeah. Oh, okay. Perfect. Just know it's black, not green. <clears throat> Where's your greens, bro? <laughs> I wasn't kidding. It's a mono black. Zombie deck. Does he even get to play the commander? <laughs> I'll tap one. Play Shambling Ghost. So, Shambling Parish gets a one more counter on it. And I am going to tap Swamp. Play Calling the Weak to sacrifice this to kill your uh, Birds of Paradise. He gets a minus one, minus one. Minus one. I get four. <laughs> Black. And I'm just gonna play my man. Let's speed me up a little bit. Get my commander out, maybe. <laughs> and I, uh, no, I'm gonna attack Jose with um, seven. Almost had it. I would attack me too if I was you. Uh -huh. Oof. And I'm you did have a real strong first turn. All right, draw, guys. You play a mountain turn. I have to flip. Or roll for the crit. Is that a six sided die? You pass me one? It doesn't matter. Here you go. Alright, I'm gonna do even some safe. It's odds. Alright, I'll take, take three. Oh. Ah, my ten. I'm about to die. I know. I'm dead next turn. Um, how did you? I'll play my second land for turn. Dang. For Peter. Me too. I'll pass. Oh, it's me. Oh, man. Yeah, 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 still, yeah. both of us. So I'll play my land for turn. And we're going to tap two for an Elvish Visionary, ETB draw. I tap three for Animar. 
Welcome. It's one one with protection from white and black. I'll pass. Alright. Behold the grandeur. When you set this scheme in motion, add a swamp, a island, and a mountain to your mana pool. I mean, you get a forest. When you set this scheme in motion, <laughs> if you control six or more lands, you may search your library for a card with convert mass six or greater villa and put it to your hand. That's your library. Well, unfortunately, I do not have six. You know, one thing it doesn't really say is whether or not that mana dissipates after the scheme is set in motion. Like, when does it stop being in your mana pool? Oh yeah, it doesn't say till the end of the turn. It doesn't say till the end of the turn or anything. I would assume in your main phase. You get That's it right your first yeah. main phase. Yeah. So you already drew for turn? Oh, I did. You didn't even untap, man. What are you doing? <laughs> He's just so excited about his schemes. Yeah, I would be too. Uh, you already played your land. I'm gonna tap two to play uh, Stitch Together. Uh, return to our creature card from your grave from your graveyard to your hand. Untap one black. Tap. Could you yeah, you oh, have yeah, black, right. blue, red yeah. floating. So now you have a blue red. Thank you, sir. Basically two colorless men. Yeah, basically two colorless. Which doesn't do no good. Play that. This gets another <clears throat> Okay. Um You know by only attacking me you're giving them time to set up. Just saying. <laughs> turn, on my, turn on my teammates real quick. Um, and then let me see, what is that? A creature? Ain't much in mind black can do. So one more. I'm gonna play uh, Go for the Throat on Jose. Uh, creature. Christ. Oh. And Christ. then I am going to attack Jose for <laughs> 10, exactly. I'm dead. <sighs> Oh, that's 11, actually. Knocked you so, out, uh, friend. One of our teammates is down already. Right. They'll be gone soon, too. The arch His enemy. deck's not good. It's just his arch enemy. The arch enemy. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, my turn. All right, Nick. Let's do this. Tap draw. All right, so here's what's going to happen. Let me just knock this out. I'm going to tap two. I'm going to cast Explore. Play my two land drops for turn. Cool. Tap two. Sylvan Ranger, when it enters the battlefield, I can search my for a basic land card, put it into my hand, and shuffle my library. I'm gonna do just that, and that's all I got. I got scared a little bit, like he was gonna do something. How can we tap your <laughs> island? Huh? How can we tap your island? Oh, it's explore. Tap two for explore. Uh, explore, I thought it was exploration, it's my bad. Ranger. I will tap a green and a red for Lanamore Lone Speaker, which will add one counter to Anamore. So you my D20 out. Can we get a spin down, please? Thank you. How's it feel to be dead? Um, when I play with Ian at his house and with his friends, all they do is attack me. So, <laughs> not surprised. Yeah, feels good, right. though. Because Jose has the best deck, he spends the most not time even, dude. research. It's not at all true. <laughs> Tap a green, pay one life, add two in my extra. Wildwood Scourge. It's going to cost two, and this is going to come in with. Three plus one plus one counters. And then this says whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on another non hydro creature I control, I get to put a plus one plus one counter on that. Okay, that's it. That's it. When you set this game into motion, each opponent chooses a creature he or she controls, then sacrifices the rest. I love that card. No one will hear your cries. I will sack my Sylvan Ranger. Wildwood Scourge and Land of Warlands Peeker. The one that doesn't? Uh, of course, the ones that don't have protection. Alright, I'll tap everything. Draw the card. <clears throat> Alright. Lotus Petal. I am going to. Tap those. Bring out my Glissa. Dang, she's his. You claiming, bro? Is that your girlfriend? Wife <laughs> I am going to then attack Alonzo with uh, everything. All right, so my 3-3 three, three is going to eat your champion of the perished because it has protection from black. 
And then I'll take five. Oh wait, wait a second. Eight, this nine. is actually a uh, this actually gets a counter because I play Glissa. No, oh, it's a zombie. Then I'll need you the three three. <clears throat> so you'll kill this three three. Yep. So that That's protection does, from black. Is this a black creature? It's crap. Yeah, it's a black creature. Mm -hmm. It's a black uh, horror. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. I'll take that back, and then I'll take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to start by tapping two reds for Ancestral Statue, bringing it up to three, bouncing this back to my hand, tapping a forest, play it again, four. Infinite. Yeah, infinite. Infinite size oh, animal with protection oh, black. Oh my god. And then just to add some salt to the, to the scoop, I'm going to pay one life. Mijin seeing wins, but it's still infinite. And it enters with a divinity counter on it because I cast it from my hand. So I'm gonna remove that counter and I'm gonna draw a card for each permanent I control. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have nothing that's not black on your side of the field, right? No. <clears throat> yeah, I got nothing else that's gonna make this any better for you, so I'm just gonna put you out of your misery and kill you. So I, can I, I can't block? Can't no, block because it's got protection creatures. from black and from white, and your only untapped creature is black. No, I'm not. I'm just saying that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and See you, man. get you. Dude, that's revenge for killing my friend. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that's what you get for focusing on one person. Bad arch enemy. I told you. Yeah, I do it better. <laughs> You're, man, one more we took you out next. At least you casted your commander. Yeah, that was probably I should have probably wait. Was this a was this a black creature? That was a red dragon. It was a red dragon. Yeah, I should have kept that on top. I told you, you stop going you balls to the guess. wall. You wouldn't. You couldn't have known. Yeah. Well, mm. here's what I have to say. Thanks for watching. <laughs> this <laughs> very calm, <laughs> gentle, and I'm smooth upset. episode of Everything EDH. Mm. Streak is alive. Let's, Let's do it. We want with you. So Warm it up. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, stay forward. Thank you for that. You know what would have been a good arch enemy? My stack stick with that. Uh, <laughs> no, we can do it. Just pass it around. That'd be fun. Keep the same deck, but more so you can see the arch enemy. We can do that with funding there, right? Yep. And we can play the funding. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. We got two in the bank. That's gonna last for a while. Appreciate you guys. So let's just have some fun. I want to play a deck that. See, look. Oh. The, the <laughs>